good morning. It is a nice day. I waited an extra day. Uh, just to, I just didn't feel like driving in the rain. So I'll get back to Route 66 today. First, I need to find some gas. So we'll pull in and get gas here at Walmart. Look at this sign, $1.98 a gallon. Oh my gosh, I love Texas. Woo, 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 woo. Sorry, as a traveler, I get really excited when there is cheap gas. In Texas, oh man, that's awesome. my gosh this look at this big cowboy oh my gosh <laughs> that is awesome spirit of west texas oh this is too awesome look at i don't know if this is an original muffler man or not the pose I've never seen a pose like that. That is, that is different. I mean, he's just kind of chilling. Kind of looks like he might need a chiropractor at some point. He's huge. I haven't even hit Route 66 yet. I'm still uh, traveling north trying to get up there. I'm in the town of uh, Canyon. This is Canyon, Texas. And I was not even expecting to see another big cowboy. That's funny. No plaques or information about this Texan here. Uh, just a bunch of advertising. See these little Chicken Express, Dobbs, Campbell bits and spurs. <laughs> so they definitely want to keep this guy alive here in Canyon. That is pretty cool though. He's huge. Uh, so he's called uh, Tex Randall, the big cowboy out here. I just decided to do some Google research here. I just searched uh, Muffler Man in Canyon, Texas, and yeah, Tex Randall. Now we'll head to Route 66. You're probably not seeing what I'm seeing, but let me, let me get closer to this. Randomness, it just looks like two, two legs, spray painted. Let me take a gander at this plaque and then we'll be able to figure out what in the heck we're looking at out here. It says Osmondias. I met a traveler from an ancient land who said, two vast and trunkless legs of stone stand in the desert near them, one on the sand half sunk, a shattered visage lies, whose frown and wrinkled lip and sneer of cold command tell that its sculpture well those passions read which yet survive, stamped on these lifeless things. My name is Osmondias, king of kings. Look on my works, ye mighty and despair. Nothing besides remains round decay of that colossal wreck, boundless and bare, the lone and level sand stretch her far away. 1819. Art. Well, usually the uh, gift shop is on the way out. Maybe I'm going backwards, but this is the RV uh, Cadillac Park. And this muffler man says the Second Amendment cowboy. Okay. Well, I didn't know if I was going to find a magnet over there later, so that's why I got, that's why I got it here. But... Anyway, that's a tiny little gift shop, kind of a tourist trap. Look, inside the car, there is Willie Nelson. Hey buddy, rock on. And this has to be Elvis over here. Oh yeah, I guess, that's interesting. And there's John Wayne in the blue one, cool. Now we'll head on over and check out Cadillac Ranch. All right, well here's the colorful entrance to Cadillac Ranch. But as I understand it, these uh, 10 Cadillacs were put here by some uh, art hippies from San Francisco, actually, out of, out of all places. Uh, I don't remember the year exactly, but hey, it's definitely some art. And boy, the smell of paint is 
is very strong. Wonder if the wheels turn. Oh, they do. Awesome. Very colorful. Wow. Now we'll just walk behind the field, behind all the Cadillacs. <laughs> there has to be about a thousand aerosol spray paint cans. That is funny. There you go. Cadillac Ranch. A beautiful sight. I mean, wait, look how much spray paint's actually on it. It has it is changed the actual texture of the vehicles. See how it's drooping? That is crazy. That is a lot of paint. Millions of gallons of paint on these cars. All right, well, that's uh, Cadillac Ranch, and this is Route 66 out here. So uh, we'll get back on the highway here and uh, go play in Amarillo. Amarillo by morning. It's still morning. It's only 11 a.m. Here we go. Oh, Waffle House! Oh, my gosh! Oh, I have not seen one of these in so long. I absolutely love this place. My favorite restaurant in the whole world is Waffle House. Here's where we went with. Oh, yeah. Well, that was an interesting experience. Unfortunately, I didn't last very long in there. I had to take most of my food to go. I knew right when I walked in, something just didn't smell right. And it took me halfway through my meal to look up and see the guy two booths away from me smoking a cigarette while he's eating his scrambled eggs. <laughs> like, <laughs> this place, what? It's really unusual to me. It, um, I don't know if it's an Amarillo thing or if it's statewide in Texas, but most places you cannot smoke in a, inside a facility, especially a food facility, unless it's like on reservation property at a casino or something, that was, that was unpleasant. <clears throat> She's got this Airstream desk. That's cool. Very cool. As it turns out, I did need some parts. I got some uh, door latches because my generator one never had one. And my, um, I got another one that's broke, at least the spring broke in it. So cool. He said, uh, follow the arrows outside. Here we go. Check out that sign, the Jack Sizemore RV Museum on Route 66. Fun. Oh my gosh. 1941 Westcraft trailer. 1936 Alma. Oh, look at that. Wow. Cozy. Woodstock or bust. It's an old Volkswagen there. <laughs> and a 62 Airstream. I love those tiny Airstreams. Let's take a peek inside real quick. Oh yeah, playing some dominoes. Nice kitchen. Wow, well, they even got a bathroom in this little one. Now this is not a GMC here. This is an FMC, a 1976. Oh, it looks and smells like the 70s for sure. Wow. I love the old stuff they put by, just to give you that feel. 1955 Airstream. Woo! Classy. Holy cow. It says it's the world's oldest Airstream. 1935 Torpedo. The oldest. Look at all that wood in there. Oh my goodness. 1948. Oh, this is actually from the movie RV. No way. I love that movie. R.I.P. Robin Williams. The Gornicky. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, this is too cool. Now I'm going to have to rewatch RV. It's even got the rack on top where Robin Williams was uh, up there on it. <laughs> 75 Itasca. 76 Argosy, Spirit of 76. Not bad. Floor's a little soft. Color Burst, Kodak Instant Camera. 
73 Winnebago for rent, 175 for three days. Boy, this thing is mint. I'm glad they started uh, remaking these, kind of, retroly. Nothing like the classic ones, though. I like it. They have the uh, guest book here you can sign, and they also have the pens, so you can pin where you're from on this ginormous map here. So I'm going to go with a black pin, and we'll pin it right up here near Olympia, Washington. Yep. And we're right here in Amarillo. Well, that is an awesome free museum right here in Amarillo. Jack Sizemore. You guys got to stop in. This is, a, this is a great stop over in Amarillo. Whew, let's get, get some AC on and get back on the road. All right, so I don't get it. I just got into downtown Amarillo and I was expecting, ah, big city, driving an RV, it's gonna be impossible. I'm right here at City Hall, free parking by the Civic Center, big slots for an RV, tall trees in the city. I'm like, really? Amarillo is nice, really nice. So yeah, this is City Hall and this big 10-ton uh, globe thing, what does it say? Whosoever rolleth this globe shall be king of nomads. I think it moved. Yeah, it moved. Well, that idea backfired like hell. Maybe make, make the bloopers. Apparently the water's supposed to make this whole thing move, but it's not working. So my joke is ruined. Oh man, speaking of my Sword in the Stone reference, look at this motel. The Camelot Inn. Looks like a freaking castle. That is pretty cool. So I'll just keep saying it. There is something about Texas that just loves RVers and it is so cool. This is the Amarillo, Texas travel center slash rest stop here. Nothing uh, glorious to look at or anything, but they have drinking water available inside and nice clean restrooms. Sign says, rattlesnakes, caution, venomous snakes may be found in this area. Uh, they have Wi-Fi here, doesn't uh, seem to work unless you go inside, but the office is open from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. So I'm going to bring my laptop inside and see if I can upload a few videos that I am late on. Other than that, I'm going to call this rest over home because it's a safe, secure spot to park the RV. And I asked first just to make sure, even though all, all Texas highway turnouts and rest stops and everything, you can, you can sleep overnight. So, man, it's pretty nice. Amarillo is a nice city. That pavement hot let's let's go in the grass over here come here there you go there you go eat some grass chill in the grass that's a good boy go ahead and flop 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 <laughs> like, i don't want to i'll flop on my own terms now jacks you're supposed to watch out for rattlesnakes okay are you watching out it's like heck yeah i'll take one it's a free meal i ain't scared i ain't scared we smell. You're in Texas, buddy. You fit right in because everything's big in Texas. My cat's enormous. Mm hmm. Does that fan feel pretty good, Jax? He's like, heck yeah, it's right on my fur. Wait, I thought you didn't like wind. Oh, when it's warm, you like wind? Okay. Okay, buddy. So while we're in the shade over here, this is the one that doesn't work above my main compartment. There's a spider in there, too. Hey, buddy, get out of there. Anyway, lost the spring, so this just doesn't work. This is the one I'm going to replace. Oh, man, look at this. Rivets. They use rivets. Well, <laughs> um, what I'm actually going to do is yank off this part, leave this, and remount the new one probably above it. It's like, uh, what a pain. Then on the other side, this is the generator compartment, which has one right here. Works great. Uh, this is my cord to plug into the park. And there isn't one. And this is the one I really need one for because I gotta pull out the cord and I gotta twist it back in there and I'm always using my shoulder to hold it up and 
So we'll install one uh, right here or something. There we go, got the new clips on there installed. Nice having that working again. And a new one down here, should be one-handed. Look at that. That's gonna make it a lot easier. So I'm to hold this open with my shoulder. Woo! Oh, well, let's see, I'm just gonna mention this before anybody says anything. The, you're gonna notice that it looks a lot cleaner up here. All I did, well I did two things. I took down all my Mariners jerseys and hats that were on these two pillars. Just wanted it to look more clean. Uh, I have not given up on my Seattle Mariners. Uh, they're just not doing that well this year. As a matter of fact, I have MLB TV. I can, it's, uh, I forgot what I paid in April. I think I paid like 89 bucks and I get to stream all of the Mariners games live on the road through the internet as long as I'm not in the market. So anywhere out of basically the state of Washington or Oregon, uh, I can watch the Mariners games live on the TV. I don't do it that often. I don't know if I really am going to get my money's worth, but every once in a while, it is nice to watch a home team uh, play baseball. And then over here, I did two things. I actually lowered the TV. Uh, it used to sit up a lot higher, and I wanted it to be closer to my like head level when I'm on the couch. And it actually really, really helped. And I got rid of the Nintendo sign down there. I think I'm just trying to make everything look a lot cleaner, is my idea. Jax, does that make any sense? That makes sense to you, right? Okay. Uh, oh, and I got rid of the guitars that were here and all of the games and the RC truck. That's all put up top. So, overall, I just, I just, I want it to be more welcoming and clean. I don't know. Did I, did I win? Yeah, sure. folks for the day like I said um, it's five o'clock now I did go into the rest area and I just wanted to update you guys the Wi-Fi is unusable you might be able to check your email or do something um, I can't get, get Facebook to load to reply to comments and messages I certainly couldn't upload a video I let it go for like 20 minutes and it never got to 1% so uh, my internet in here seems to be working okay over the AT&T network so I'll be able to upload a, a, a video at least tonight overnight if I just leave my laptop on otherwise we're going to get caught up uh, be heading east even farther along Route 66 in the days to come so stay with me guys Jackson I'll see you in a couple days bye bye Hey guys, this is Jax, my kitty cat. I'm his servant, Eric. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel here on RVing. If you like the video, give us a thumbs up below. Make sure you subscribe, check out all our other videos, and keep following us on the road. Thanks, guys.